The elevator doesn't appear to be working. Well, I guess there's no going back. Oh, there's a key in the faucet. Can't get it out no matter how much I pull. Oh, maybe if we find the right tool, we can come back and get it. Hey, there's that birdcage again. Well, it sure sounds like there's a bird in there. Oh, there's somebody laughing. There. Um, okay. I'm running into this door. It's locked. The word flag is called, uh, carved on the door. I think that's how it's pronounced, flag. Not so good with those ph... ph words. Flag, flag. Flem. Fahubu gods. Old clock. There's a square hole in the center of the clock. The hands of the clock. It's a key. Can't get to it because of the glass cover. Well, we'll have to be have to be aware of that. Maybe come back a little later. Up. Oh, purple is good. Purple means shotgun shells. We could use some. Harry's not doing so great. Heal you real quick. Oh. Need some of this? Need some of the glowing? Oh, tight. It's locked. Alright, we're not getting in there. It's also locked. The word Ophelia is carved on the door. Well, no, I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. Hey, we're back in the school. Go home, thief. Drop dead. Now that's not very nice. Oh, talking about tools, there's a screwdriver. There's some pliers. Let's go see if we can get that key now. How about this door? Locked. The word Haggath is carved on the door. Was this the bird room or the faucet room? That was the bird room. There we go. Now we just use our trusty pliers. Actually, rusty pliers is probably better. Key of Ophelia. I'm guessing it's Ophelia. So I'm pretty sure it's not Ophelia. Was this door? Yes, it is. And we're back out here. 
what it looks like back out here. Okay. Got the alphabet over here. It's locked. Oh, I remember this. The Grim Reaper's List. Ooh, what do we have in here? Alright, looks like two fish with the number zero. Scales with the number two. Uh, a goat or a ram, maybe, with the number four. And a crab with the number 10. So those are clues to this puzzle here. And that looks like a bowl. And the clues were the numbers. Those different animals that we saw, except for the scales, had numbers attached to them. And you may not have noticed it by looking at it, but those numbers were the number of limbs. So the crab had ten. The goat had four. So the bull also has four. And two people? Maybe twins? Well, they have four legs all together, but they also have two arms each. So we're going to pick eight. And a centaur, huh? Yep, somebody already guessed it. That's right, they're zodiac symbols. And the centaur has four legs and two arms. So we're going to pick six. And that plate falls right out. And that plate is the Stone of Time. That. Hi. Listen, I know I'm a famous writer and everything, but if you want an autograph, you can just ask. You don't have to come at me with a scalpel. Actually, I have no clue if Harry's famous. I sincerely doubt it. Everything's jammed. Alright, names engraved on a lithiograph. The Grim Reaper's list. Yes, the head count is set. Young and old line up in order of age. Then the pathway opens, awaiting them, the frenzied uproar, the feast of death. Alright, well that's our clue to the puzzle that's back over this way. So, if we look at death's list over here, nope, let's look at it. These different names also have numbers next to them, showing their age. If you line them up from youngest to oldest, you might see a pattern, especially with the uh, their initials. So Albert being the youngest would be A, followed by Linda being the second youngest, being L, then Edwards being E, Roberta being R, and finally Trevor being T. So if you take the first letter of each one of their names in age order, you get A-L-E-R-T. Yep, that's right, alert. Now that's probably something you'd have to write down to see instead of just looking at it like we were. Because then you would see that they would spell alert going down. Alright, 
any up oh, what do we have here the amulet of solomon well of course we're going to take it we're not going to let anything that we can take just sit there all right guys brace yourselves we're probably going to see the saddest scene in this game Harry? Lisa, what's the matter with you? I get it now. Why I'm still alive even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Harry. You know, after having seen that scene so many times and played through this game so often, you know, it, it doesn't quite get to me as much as, say, the first time I saw that. But, you know, that really, that really kind of, you know, made me sad the first time I see it to realize what was happening to poor Lisa. Especially Lisa being one of the more friendly characters that we've had to deal with over the course of the game, and the, the framing of that scene I thought was great. Her reactions, Harry's reactions, and of course the music. And you know what, you may not think think of this, but you know what you have to do? You gotta go back in there. But she's nowhere to be found. There's a diary on the floor. Ask the doctor to let me quit being in charge of that patient. It's too weird. Still alive, but with wounds that won't heal. I told the doctor I quit. I won't work at that hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects. Even with the doors and windows shut, they get in to spite me. To the hospital. Feeling bad. I need to throw up. But nothing comes out. Vomiting only bile. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Need drug. Help me. Yeah. So, it was, uh, it was poor Lisa's diary. She, uh, she didn't have it so well. But we're going to take this stone of time. Leave me alone, nurse. And we're going to put it in this clock. Now this got me a few times too. I didn't realize that when they said hole in the center of the clock, they meant in the, the center of the clock's body, not the center of its face. And 
Boom. What do we get for our troubles? The key of Haggard. Now, how are you doing, Harry? Did that hurt you? No. Yeah, he doesn't have a map of this place. He's not going to find a map of this place. This is, this is not a place on any map. Yeah, sure, it kind of looks like the hospital. But it's something much different. There we go. That's the elevator. So I'm assuming we're on the first floor. How about we check out the second? Oh, I see two nurses. Try to avoid them if we can. That's alright, you just keep wandering around over there. Put my head's in here. And this looks like the jewelry store again. So we will take the Crest of Mercury, because we like Amy. And of course I like uh, uh, Makoto the most, but hey, I won't, uh, I won't uh, be picky. The Ring of Contracts. Yes, we want that too. Oh, hi! I'm not expecting you to be there. Unlocked. And that will lead us back to the uh, the room with all the locked doors, the the Haggith door and the Ophiel door, and I forget what the other one was. There's a camera. Yeah, we can use some photographic evidence of this horrible place. Nurses traveling in pairs. He's full. This room looks familiar. And there's the steel plate screwed to the wall. Except this time, we have a screwdriver. There's a key. Electricity is flowing into the key. I'll get shocked if I grab it. So we're going to leave it alone. And we're going to take the elevator. I think it's around here somewhere. And 
now it's time to go to the third floor. Oh, what's that? A little ghost girl praying in front of this altar. Looks like an altar. I wonder what they worship. The light illuminating the darkness. Come on, Harry. Just a candle. We can walk around it. The light to the future. Hmm. So both of these paintings mention light. Well, we have something that can make some light. That would be our camera with the flash. And some symbols have appeared on the painting. A plus sign. A... I don't even know how to describe that shape. A... let's say a square open on one end and a triangle. Now what do you think those shapes mean? Well, those shapes are the buttons here we have to press. drink. Maybe we'll take what we can get, right? Now, I swear it looks like we can step down and pick up that book, but I guess not. But hey, free health drink, which I think we're going to use. Use the camera on this painting. So, what do we got? A right angle, another triangle, and an arrow pointing down. Up, down, and to the left. Down, and to the left. See? So, we plug in those shapes again. room has the birdcage key. So it's time to go back. Back to the birdcage. Which I believe was on the first floor. bird noises. And inside we get the key of leg. Which I believe opens up this door. Maybe hard for you guys to see. There's a shadow of something right here. 
that kind of looks like the uh, the monsters back in the school. It's locked. Lord Belthor is on the door. Oh, we're back in the kitchen. The kitchen has changed a little bit. The chain is missing a link. There's a dagger. Take it. Well, in this case, you may be thinking, sure, just take the dagger. We always take daggers. No, we're not taking it. Because that chain is not connected. And that dagger is the only thing keeping this door closed. So what we gotta do is figure out a way to keep this box closed. But we have a little something that can put those links together. Use the Ring of Contract. The chain is fixed with the ring. Now we're going to take the dagger. And we're going to leave. Can you hear? Something in there is trying to get out. If we did not seal that with the ring, those doors would have flung open and a tentacle, like what we saw earlier in the game, would have grabbed Harry and pulled him into that cabinet. And that would have been the end of him. And we haven't saved in a while, so I don't want that to happen. So you know what? I think I'm going to save the next chance I get. Alright, yeah, we're going to take those handgun bullets. Take that health drink. And what's this? Nothing helpful? That's not true. It's a bag of jelly beans. Are we going to open it? Yes, we are. Jelly beans all over the floor. But also the key of Belthor. Which we just saw the door for. Okay, what do we have in here? Hey! It's the VCR again. Well, you know what? We're in a new area, and we have the videotape. Let's take a look. What is it? Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. I promise. So please. Yeah, something unpleasant has been going on. Oh, talking about unpleasant. little ghost girl. But hey, Ankh. Free Ankh. 